How's it going there fellow junkies? Is this something you'd like to see on your Motorola Droid Bionic, Droid 4, or Droid Razor? Yeah, that's right. Let's go do this. So to install CM12 um, unofficial Lollipop, there's going to be some prerequisites to do it here on the Droid Bionic. So one of those is to have BusyBox installed. So you, once you get installed, it's an application you get from the market. You hit the install in the app and make sure that it is installed correctly. That's just a prerequisite for this. You're also going to have to have root access on your device. Um, and with root access, you need right there, there's Super SU. And most people that have a Droid Bionic and have these things already pre-done um, have SafeStrap installed as well. And we're going to use SafeStrap to install CM12, but we have to get a new version of it. Okay? So, um, you're going to want to make sure your device is in the stock ROM slot. So to show you that, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to grant uh, SafeStrap. And basically, you're going to come into recovery. So I'm going to do reboot to recovery in here. And I'll just show you that we're going to actually be in the stock ROM slot. And the reason you need to be in that slot is because we actually have to uninstall this version of SafeStrap by hash code and install a new version of SafeStrap, which is still based on hash code's work, but we need to have it so that we can install a Lollipop ROM. So it's a new version, and I'll give you links to it. All right, so my device is actually already in a stock ROM slot. You can see right up here it's in red. It says slot stock. That's all you need to do. If it's not in there, go into boot options, select stock, activate it, and it should come and show up as red right there, and you're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot. Just make sure you're in a stock ROM slot. I'll be reboot system. And this is going to boot me back exactly to that ROM slot I was just in. Again, here this will also prove that you are in stock ROM slot because it says safe strap disabled. That means you're in the stock ROM slot as well. So if you boot up your phone and you see that, no reason to go into recovery and check. That proves it right there. And we can go ahead and move to the next step in the process. Here we go. The device has booted up. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. And the next step in the process is to come in here, open up your app drawer. Obviously, you can see this thing's still kind of booting up. And swipe, swipe over twice and get to SafeStrap. And we have to uninstall SafeStrap. Um, that's the only way we can install the new strap, safe strap. You can't install it on top of the old one. It just won't function that way. So, sorry, still the device still kind of booting up here. Looks like safe strap's being a little laggy. There it is. So we're going to go ahead and hit right here. It says uninstall recovery. So go ahead and hit that button. And it'll uninstall. There we go. Perfect. And then we actually have to come in here to our app drawer once again. Hold down and go to more options and go ahead and uninstall safe strap okay very good and now we have to show you the files we're working with so I'm gonna go into ES file browser and um, you're gonna have to inst download some files so I'm gonna show you them I put them all in the CM12 folder so here is the new safe strap it says safe strap debug that's what you're going to need to use. I'll give you links to it for this device. So we're going to download. So this is our Google applications for Lollipop, which are from dhacker. And then this is CM12 ROM, the unofficial one that we're going to install. So I'm going to install SafeStrap. Um, it doesn't really matter. Package installer is fine. Go ahead and let it install. All right. And then I'm going to hit open. I'm going to grant super user permission or super SU, agree to the disclaimer, and go ahead and install recovery. All right, there we go. And I'll go ahead and reboot recovery, or reboot to recovery. I'm not sure if reboot to recovery functions. Uh, looks like it does, though. So this new version of SafeStrap supports SE Linux uh, permissive. So Lollipop, all Lollipop ROMs are have this SE Linux security feature in them. And other versions of SafeStrap don't function with it, so I don't have that functionality. So that's why you need this new version of uh, SafeStrap, this debugger version. So we should boot up into SafeStrap. There it is. So first thing you got to do is you got to create a ROM slot. So I'm going to go ahead and go boot options, ROM slot. Um, I would recommend going like about like that. So you have one gig, two, three gigs, and then cache. I would bring that up to like. I don't know, 
210 or something like that. That's not bad. So it's about three gigs of space for this ROM. You can go more or less depending on what you want to do. Um, I have about seven gigs available, so this should be about half my storage to create the ROM slot. So we're going to go ahead and create ROM slot. Um, this process is going to take a little while. This is not a very fast processor. Um, so I'm going to come back to it since it's done, probably take five to ten minutes. Another quick bit of information to point out to you guys is that this version of SafeStrap also supports Kexic, which is why we can actually even install um, this awesome CM12 lollipop. So I'm going to go here and click nickname, and instead of calling it ROM slot 1, I'm just going to call it, um, oh, I don't know, ROM. We're going to call it C. It's got a nice vibration going on. CM12. Hey, go. Go. There it is. All right. Go back. There we go. ROM CM. Okay, perfect. So we're on ROM slot 1. It's in green. Everything looks good to go. We can go back to home. And now we can flash CM12. Super awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this install. And I'm going to go to CM12 folder. That's where I put everything. And click on, right here it says Targa. Targa is the code name of the Droid Bionic. Like I said, you have the Spider and I think the Maserati or something like that is the other code name for the three devices that are supported. Um, this guy actually creates these rounds for us. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to say add a zip. Click on the Lollipop uh, Google applications. So two zips of 10 and swipe across to flash. There you go. That is going to install CM12. Hopefully we'll get a solid boot and everything will work out just fine once we boot this thing up. I'm a little excited to check this out here on the Droid Bionic. Let's just let this thing finish. Alright, the ROM has flashed and the Google app applications are flashing right now. You're almost done. This will finish up here in just a second and we can go ahead and reboot and get our CM12 fu functioning. Now, on that note of functioning, this is CM12 unofficial, okay? So there is probably going to be some bugs in this version of CM12. It's okay, you're on a ROM slot. You can always flick right back to stock and get back and running if you have any issues with it. But if you want to check out this CM12 unofficial, this is the way to do it. So we're going to go ahead and do reboot system now, or just reboot system is what it actually says. And then we should be seeing our official CM12 boot animation. So, pretty excited about that. Here is the Motorola logo, but then come on, give us that CM12 boot animation. So, here's Safe Strap. Safe Strap enabled, it's in green. That means you're running a, a ROM slot, uh, which we are, which is the ROM CM12. And come on, wait for it. Get excited. This is the good stuff. Come on. Man, it's worrying me now. Look at this black screen, doesn't look good. Uh, lights back up. Wow, these phones that are older are just, I can't remember how slow they were. It's crazy, even just the boot up times and stuff is just wowing me. Um, interesting. Black screen. Hmm. Whoa! Super late, super late. But there it is. Saijin Mod boot animation. Yeah. All right, cool. So I'm going to let this thing go ahead and uh, boot up. I'll go through some initial setup stuff, and we'll show you Saijin Mod 12 on the Motorola Droid Bionic. So after about, oh man, almost 10 minutes of the spinning Saijin Mod, we were greeted with the screen. Ba-boom, it boots. So that's really cool. I'm going to shoot through this uh, initial setup here, and then I'll show you CM12. There it is. Yeah. Let me get rid of this thing because it's annoying. I don't like it. Um, yeah, there it is. CM12. So let's uh, let's look through this really quick. So basic standard stuff here. Nothing really sticking out. There's the CM file browser. Um, music. Audio FX. Yeah, so basic, basic uh, applications and they're nothing really like blowing you away. There you go, lollipop, uh, nice pull downs there, very cool. I did hear the flashlight actually uh, makes things force close right now, so just warning on that. Um, but let's check out some more of the other stuff on here. So settings, looks really good. 
Um, I'm going to check our Android version. I can show you to you. So XT875 again, that is the Droid Bionic. Targa, there's Android version, which we'll click on and get our little Easter egg. Wow, that's a nice little pretty sight here on the Bionic. And it does include the uh, Android game. Very cool if you want to play that and mess around. Um, also, just so you guys know, um, we're going to show you how to turn on root access since it's not turned on by default here in CM12. So you're going to come in here, you're going to go to build number, and you're going to tap on it and turn on developer options. Most of you guys have probably seen turning on developer options. Then you're going to go into developer options, and um, you're going to go right down here to, oh, it looks like it is on in this version, which is nice. I like that the ROM developer just went ahead and turned it on. It says apps only. I'm going to say apps and ADB. And you should be good to go if you want to ask for root permission on anything. You're, you're ready to rock now at this point. So very, very nice. Very, very nice. Let's just go ahead and really quickly, um, just because everybody wants to normally know, does the camera work? We'll go ahead and turn it on. Let me just tilt this thing up. And I don't like to have the tagging. So, yeah, sure. Yeah, that works. Take a picture. Oh, that was, oh, a little delay. There's a little lag, and it might just because I'm starting things up. So, um, but it does function. So no worries there. You can go ahead and use it. Obviously, Flash works too, which is really nice. So yeah, looks pretty good to me. Like I said, you want to see all the you know works and doesn't works that kind of stuff in uh, the XDA thread. I'll link that in the video description. That's also where you're going to get the ROM. You're going to get the Google applications. Everything will be linked down below on how to get this set up. All the files you're going to need and all that. So. There you go. That's going to be how to install CM12 on the Motorola Droid Bionic. Hope you guys liked this video. Yes, I do still cover old devices. When I see development happens, it's time for a video. Hope you guys like it. Catch you in the next one. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.